Balkans and beyond. How do foreigners and people living abroad view the rich and complex tapestry of the Western Balkans? With the Balkans and Beyond podcast series, we enlisted inspiring exploration of and insights on various topics related to the region through interviews with foreigners involved in Western Balkans issues, but also members of the Balkans diaspora. Today's podcast guest is Sara. She is the brain and artist behind a cool Instagram account called Sara in Kosovo. So Sara, tell me a little bit more about your Instagram page, Sara in Kosovo. What made you create it? So, uh, passionate to everyone, <laughs> I created uh, this page because when I first went to Kosovo in 2021, I didn't find any information about this beautiful country in my language, so I'm Italian. And uh, when I came back uh, in Italy in uh, September, I decided to create my own page. Um, and how do you find, how do you develop content for your account? So all of my contents are created by me. So when I'm in Kosovo, I take as much photos, videos, reels as possible, so I can post them during all day year in my page. But Sara, what is your connection to Kosovo? How come you came here and decided to open this page? Um, because uh, my fiance is from Kosovo originally, so I went uh, for uh, for him. I see. So you have a personal connection that has now developed also into a professional interest of yours. Yes, that's beautiful. And that's really beautiful. Uh, you said you visited Kosovo for the first time in August 2021. Yes. Is that correct? Yes. And what was the first city that you visited and what were your first impressions? The first city that I visited is, um, or was uh, Suareka. Uh, Suareka is uh, my favorite city in Kosovo because uh, it's a young city. It's, uh, I don't know, it's very rich for me. I f um, in Suareka, there's um, uh, no much, no much uh, to visit, but uh, I visit the Berisha's house and uh, I think that it's uh, mm, wonderful. Besides Suhareka, have you visited other cities? Yes, I visit uh, um, much cities. For example, Ferizai, uh, I visit also uh, uh, Jakova, I visit Pristina. Pristina for me it's a wonderful uh, city that should be more uh, um, uh, should be more famous. <laughs> but uh, I have uh, um, I have uh, so much uh, place to visit uh, this year in Novos. And what about tell me about your friends in Italy? How much information do they have about Kosovo? They didn't have any information <laughs> because uh, Kosovo here is uh, is not that um, peop uh, popular. They think uh, the, there is the war. There is still the war in Kosovo, so it's not uh, it's not true. <laughs> and now with your uh, Instagram page, are you changing their minds about yes. the country? Yes, because uh, they didn't know that is. Uh, uh, that they have uh, in Kosovo uh, um, wonderful culture, people and landscape to visit. Sara, what is your plan to do next with your Instagram account? So, uh, people who follow me will uh, know, but uh, my dream is uh, going, uh, is go on television to talk about Kosovo. I want to go to uh, Kosovo's television or I don't know if uh, Italian people are so interested. So this is not just a passion project for you. I think it's becoming more of a professional interest. Yes. Promoting the landscapes and destinations within the country, right? Yes, that's right. 
Excellent. Thank you so much, Sara, for your time, for being part of the Balkans and Beyond podcast. It was a pleasure speaking That's to you. That's a pleasure. And thank you for the Instagram page that you have created. Much success to it. Thank you so much.